I see someone. A team. Oh, ho, ho. this might be too much temptation to pass. Get him out of here, Prairie. Oh boy, these homies is stacked. What is going on, Angels? The Champ Strider here, and one of my favorite games, Escape from Tarkov, just started a fresh wipe, which means it's filled with new and returning players, and people are still using non-meta kits, which just makes the game super, super fun. And I see a lot of people struggling winning gunfights against both players and those new crazily buffed scavs. So in today's video, we're going to use Kovacs 2.0, the meta, to work on our mouse control skills, since Tarkov is and always will be a game of head eyes so being able to click moving heads is very very important and just before i get into the kovacs routine for escape from tarkov i just want to kind of end a narrative that i see in the aiming community by like some salty beta personality kids and i've seen this a few times but either in discord or reddit someone posts asking for kovac drills for tarkov and they always get the whole like omega lol you know tarkov doesn't require aim crap and I just saw this again a few days ago on Reddit, which is actually why I'm making the video. And that narrative, it's got to go because Tarkov is a FPS game. Aiming is a fundamental skill necessary to be successful in it. And Tarkov might have less opportunities to fight than Call of Duty, but every gunfight is high stakes because you don't want to lose everything you just looted for the last 30 minutes. And having poor aim will make this game just a absolutely miserable experience. So usually I don't post my clips before I get right into the Kovacs routines, but uh, I just got to show this clip of my my one good friend uh, trying to shoot a scav. And I think after watching this, you will agree that there are plenty of people out there who will benefit from a Kovacs training routine for Escape from Tarkov because aiming is 100% a component of the game. Someone's shooting at the sniper scav and he missed. So the player is out to the... Uh... Oh, I was gonna say don't shoot that guy yet. <laughs> the, the now the player knows where we are. Uh, I think yeah, I got him. All right, <laughs> I don't know who is popping away. <laughs> I think that is true. All right, guys, so clip of my friend Jew out of the way. Let's get into the Kovacs routine. I have six exercises for you guys. Do them five times each for around a 30-minute routine. And Tarkov is all about being precise and clicking heads, so we're going to be mostly working on our click timing in today's drills. So we're going to start with one wall, six targets small, and the focus in this drill is on keeping a nice, clean, straight mouse path to each target. We're training mouse control in these drills, so we don't want to be blindly flicking. We want to move with a very deliberate pattern where we stop ideally right on the target and move in a direct path to the next one. Next up, we have one wall, six targets, extra small, where we're using the same fundamentals of mouse pathing and mouse control, but on even smaller targets. And this drill is great for clicking on someone's head who is looting or camping really far away. Third up, we're going to work on clicking moving heads with floating heads timing 400%. And this is one of my favorite drills on Kovacs, especially for Tarkov, as it simulates horizontal enemy movement really well. And as you develop more at this drill, you should begin to hit more moving enemies in this game. And with this drill, try and snap target to target as much as possible and avoid moving in front of the target and just waiting for it. Next up, we have one wall, five targets past Sue, where we work on click timing, moving targets. And again, we want to snap target to target as much as possible on this drill. And this is a very popular Kovacs drill, and the average score is ridiculously low, around 20. So just figure most players you come up against are going to be around 20 shooters in past Sue. So with some practice in a month or two, you can be much above average. Fifth up, we have the small version of this exercise with one wall, five targets, passu small, which makes our passu drill even more difficult. But again, this will really help you to click on those faraway targets that are wiggling or moving around a lot. 
And lastly, we're going to add a touch of verticality to our click timing for when an opponent has a high ground advantage on you with Popcorn, Voltaic, Easy. And this is another challenging drill, but it'll greatly improve your ability to click heads. So that brings us to the end of our routine, guys. If it's your first time here in the channel, become an angel by hitting the subscribe button. I release FPS content every single week, and you don't want to miss it. Champ out.